Hi, I'm Wendy Wynan, National Grooming Operations Specialist for Petco. And today we're at our Petco stores and we're going to show you techniques on do-it-yourself dog mats. First and foremost, we want to make sure that we keep the soap and the water out of the dog's eyes and ears and we're going to give you some great tips on how to do this. I recommend that you use a puppy shampoo for your all-purpose cleaning. If there's nothing wrong with him, his skin, he's just kind of stinky. This is a safe one that you can use that's not going to irritate his skin. Also, if you could send it to his face, it's not going to hurt him or anything like that. You want to make sure that the water temperature is what we call tepid. It's warm. Use your wrist just like you would a baby bottle to check to make sure it's not too hot. Then from there, you're going to go ahead and I typically will start at the back half of the dog. Get the back half wet first because that's going to get the dog used to the feeling. It's going to get used to the water, especially if they don't like to be bathed. So using the puppy shampoo, I'm going to start at the back half of the dog and I'm going to go ahead and put some shampoo on him. And then I'm going to scrub the dog really good. And I'm going to use the tips of my fingers and not my nails because I don't want to irritate their skin. And I'm going to go in and give myself a nice good lather scrubbing all the way down to the skin and then afterward you want to make sure that you rinse and you rinse and you rinse so that when you run your fingers through his coat when it's done you can almost hear the squeaking and that lets you know you got all the shampoo out of them once you get that done you're going to take a towel and they get done shaking because they're going to shake quite a bit and go ahead and towel them off i like to start mm -hmm. with their face and work my way down the entire body get all that excess water out of them and then they're good to go